When I was a child, my mother always told me stories about her great uncle Adolfa, who'd bought a first class ticket on the Titanic. Adolfa Zalfeld, who was born in Germany, had become a British subject in 1895. Educated as a chemist, Adolfa owned several businesses in Manchester and London and had immersed himself in the life of the British upper class. Always very well dressed, he had impeccable manners and lived in a big house. He married Gertrude, who was 12 years his senior, and had a beautiful car and a chauffeur named Patch. Each year, Patch drove him to Monte Carlo, and there he stayed for three months, seeking out the essential oils used in creating perfumes for his clients. It was 1912, and Adolfo had big ideas for his own perfume business. He set his sights on New York to make his fortune. Dear wifey, 3 p.m. After leaving at noon, we had quite a little excitement as the tremendous suction of our steamer made all the houses of the SS New York snap as we passed her, and she drifted onto our boat, a collision being only averted by our stopping and our tugs coming to the rescue of the New York. So far, the boat does not move and goes very steadily. It is not nice to travel alone and leave you behind. I think you will have to come the next time. I had quite an appetite for luncheon. Soup, filet of place, a loin chop with cauliflower and fried potatoes, apple Manhattan and Roquefort cheese washed down with a large Spaten beer iced. So far, see, I am not faring badly. 10 p.m. I had a long promenade and a doze for an hour up to five o'clock. The band played the afternoon tea, but I savor a café in the veranda café with bread and butter, and quite thought I should have to pay for anything. And everything in the eating line is gratis. The name of my friend, the White Star manager in London, works wonders, and I have a small table for two to myself. I made a very good dinner, and first had two cigars in the smoke room, and shall now go to bed, as I am tired. As I do not know if I'll be up in time for the mail at Queenstown, I am posting this letter tonight. A kiss for you, and love to all from your loving husband, Adolfo. Adolfa, rescued by the Carpathia, had survived the disastrous experience of the sinking of the Titanic. You'd think he'd get a hero's welcome on his return to England, but that was not the case. He died at the relatively young age of 61. My mother told me that on his return he had trouble sleeping. His chauffeur, Patch, would have to drive him through the dark streets of London for hours and it was only then that he would at last fall asleep. The other thing that was most painful 
was that he was shunned for having survived. It was thought that only the women and children should have been saved. And because he was a man and a first-class passenger, it was thought disgraceful. If you survive something dreadful, you naturally expect people to be pleased for you. But that's not always the case.